Half of my life, and the first thing that ever—I oh, I don't want to hold that. I'm sorry. <laughs> the first thing that ever happened that when I met Pierre, we met over coffee, and he gave me this copy of Plato, which was already really pretty torn and taped together. And I've continued to tape it, keep it taped together all of this time. It's the original copy that you gave me. I think at the time you said that this copy, you got it for about a dollar ninety-five or something, and, and uh, it's been one of the most valuable things of my entire life, so it's a, it's a treasure. Um, and Pierre is a living treasure. I'm thrilled that you're here. I'll just hand it over to Pierre. Thanks for coming and enjoy mm. it. Yeah. It is entirely possible to verify with exactness that we are living in an intelligible and caring universe. The proof of this can be easily seen if we take a look at the communications that we receive from the mind. The communications follow dreams, daydreams, and mere tangents and thoughts, singular. Now that's making a claim. To verify that claim, everybody can follow the same method, simple method. If you follow the same steps, you'll come to the same conclusions. Since it follows the same questions that are exploratory, you will see within yourself that you can verify what is being said tonight without the slightest doubt. Therefore, Rather than trying to convince you that this is true, I'd rather demonstrate it. So I would like some volunteers to give me a dream. We can do more than one dream. You will see I will use exactly the same questions, vary them slightly for the occasion. You'll see that the result will be insights into oneself for the self is the most remarkable spiritual entity in all existence. Matter of fact, it is the crowning thought. All human problems have their origin in false beliefs of the self. What dreams bring to us is always on two levels. They'll show us our false images of ourselves that are the occasion of our confusions and problems. <coughs> and the second level is anagogic. And anagogic means that which is entering into the realm of the divine. It is through dreams that you can get it and you can achieve the highest states of mind open to mankind. Everything I say, I have confirmed in myself and with others. Therefore, let us see if that is true. Who has a dream? Perhaps written out, we can take it and proceed. One, two, good. You're closer, so you'll go first. Perhaps you could take a seat and read it aloud for us. Oh, I see it. <laughs> oh no, man. <laughs> now, I'm going to, obviously, I'm going to do some sketches, but uh, it's because of my profound insight and just great artists like Rembrandt that you'll see the artistry that I will use. 
Some people laugh at them, but it's... Uh, okay, shall we? And Pierre, Pierre, just a quick question. Please. The cameraman. Usually, when we do dreams, and there's a camera in the room, they go up on the web. Pierre is... Uh, but you can decide whether you want us to do that tonight. I forgot to talk with you about that, Pierre. But normally, whenever we get... If you ever get to a point where you feel like it's getting a little too personal, you don't have to go any further. There's no, there's no reason why you have to. <laughs> Pierre's usually very sensitive about that anyway. Yeah. Um, but normally, these do go up on the web, just so people know. And we should make a decision now whether we want to do that or not before we go forward. Yes. That's very well said. I'd put it in a different way. I'd say we will reach a point where the individual has to decide whether they want to explore on a personal level. It always occurs. Let's see it. I appreciate the opportunity. My pleasure, I assure you. I have dreams every night, and I write them down, and I'm just looking for one that I don't... Is there any criterion for this? Well, in, in a good number of occasions, you'll find that a dream will open up what is going on that you ignored within 24 or 48 hours before. Mm -hmm. That's not invariable, but a good number of the occasions it takes place. Therefore, the more recent one is likely to be more personally significant and recordable and memorable to you mm -hmm. than a distant one, though they're just as equally insignificant. Let's play. All right. So uh, we're performing some kind of a ritual on Danny DeVito. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Who's laid oh, out... No, 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 no. I must ask you some questions here. Okay. Okay, read it again, please. Uh, we are performing okay, some ritual. kind of ritual, ritual on Danny DeVito. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. Who's laid out naked on a table. Ah. Okay, I'm very good at drawing tables. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you're looking for nudes. That, all of my figures, by the way, are nude. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Yeah, I'll think something of it. <clears throat> An anatomy. Yeah, go ahead. He's got no hair on his weenie, and it's tiny. When I tell Peter H., he's going to laugh. Ah, oh, you, you're in this scene, and you're talking to Peter H. Um, think, uh, no, I'm thinking about Peter H. Okay, hold it. Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> I wanted to be accurate. What is that? I'm sorry. Those are glasses. Oh, glasses. <laughs> yeah, sorry. excuse me. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> um, I better not tell him. He'll tell others. Whatever the ritual is, Danny doesn't seem to mind. Okay, say that again. Whatever this ritual is, Danny doesn't seem to mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, very good. Yes, go ahead. Danny. Danny, the character on the table. Yes, 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 yes. Neutral, right, yeah, yeah. He's laying there talking and joking. Yeah. I'm a bit aloof, just circling around everyone. I end up in the kitchen. where we pile up all the fruit that we've gathered. People are taking their share, and my grapes are at the bottom a bit squished. But my hands are full, and I have a hard time picking them up. Hmm, what are your hands full of? Anything at all, you know? It's okay if you don't know. I don't know. Okay, okay. Others are picking away at the grapes, but they want me to have them. I take what's left, and one falls to the floor and rolls around. I can't believe the cat found it. Ah, 
Those of you who know dream interpretation are probably laughing at me. Don't make fun. No, no. Please don't do that. I can barely see it. I can barely can see. I can barely see the grape that's on the ground. So right, the cats. Right, right, right. And I know that cats don't sniff out very well. Mm-hmm. So I'm surprised he found it. Mm-hmm. I'm eating grapes at the big open doors to the garden atrium. The garden of atrium? The garden atrium, like an yeah. indoor-outdoor yeah. garden. Yeah. I'm a bit hunched under the branches of a small tree. My girlfriend walks in. It's been so long. I'm not sure she's still, uh, I'm not sure we're still together. We're happy to see each other and we hug. She's tired and it feels good to just squeeze. Hug. I hold the back of her head. Her hair is a bit stiff from the product. Dyed short blonde. Dyed blonde. She's changed, but it feels good to hug. We end up on the floor. She says something and I say, oh, you wanted me to crack your back. She says, yeah, I do. But we're laying down now, so it's not the same. We want to kiss, but we both have to get the gum out of our mouths. It's kind of gooey and hard to remove. Lala walks in over us. Who walks in? Lala, Laura. Uh, Laura, another one. Uh, Yeah, another person. And I look up and say, it's like high school. And she finishes the sentence by saying, you got to take the gum out of your mouth so you can kiss. I'm looking forward to kissing, but now people are all circulating and we are in the way. The end. Good, thank you. All dreams deal with three ideas. A metaphor is a word that stands for something else. Everything in a dream is a metaphor. It stands for something else. Analysis will always draw from the individual the particular meaning. A simile, when you ask someone about their state of mind, that's a simile. It often goes by, what is it like? What did you experience? The answer to that is a simile. When you have metaphors and similes together in a meaningful pattern, it establishes the grounds for an analogy. All dreams have an analogical level of significance. Every dream, if you push it, opens up the more anagogic level. Ah, that's a good one, see? That touches on the divine. So, what am I going to do? It's very simple. As you look at a dream, it is very much like a rich novel, a profound novel. And so, what you want to do is look for where the crisis is where the high and the low are. And then focusing only on those, you can then use that as a doorway into the dream. So as you look at this, reflect for a moment, what would you say are the pivotal points in the dream? Because we want to know what the dreamer felt or what it was like to experience it at that moment. Now you can ask, of course, the dreamer to state it again if you want. Thank you. That's why it's always important to get it written down. 
But as you look at it, what, what would you say that the dreamer is going through that just might be significant to get a state of mind from a simile? All right, let's try it. Um, he said in the dream that the person who was in, in this ritual uh, was not negatively in any way affected. Matter of fact, he allowed it to go on and he was indifferent to it. Right? What was it like to see the person going through this ritual, nude on a table? Uh, what did it do to you? What effect did it have on you? Um, it was a kind of strange comedy. Good, good. Yeah. Like I wasn't quite sure I wanted to get involved, I kept my distance. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember the, the grape? Um, when you saw the grape, remember that in the dream? Uh, and then the cat found it. Uh, what was that like? What did you do to see that going on? What was the experience like in the dream? See, the people wanted you to have the grapes. They were being handed out, and there you were without a grape. But then they wanted you to have a grape, so one of the grapes fell to the floor, and you watched it then rolling around, and the cat finally found it. What was that like to you? What did it do to you? So the part of the grapes, it was kind of like a bit of abundance and here I was being taken care of that people wanted me to have some of the abundance yeah. like I was taken care of sort of like people were looking out for me yeah taking care of and then the the dropping the grape um, it was almost like I couldn't see it it was down there in the dark under the table or something yeah, and I yeah, yeah. uh, just noticed that how the heck did the cat find that little grape you know no what did it do to you what did it in do the dream to me knowing that it was no longer a comedy no so no. what was it what was how would you put words on it can you Um, it seemed uh, right that the cat would get his share or something. Like, I wasn't going to try and get it away. It was more like it seemed right. Seemed right that the cat would share it. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Good. Yeah. And uh, then you had the encounter with the young lady. What was her name? In the dream? She was a she girlfriend. Was okay, Nobody girl. I recognize now, you, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got together, remember, and all right, you finally uh, got on the floor, right, and the object was to uh, kiss and get intimate, right, on that level. Mm -hmm. What was it like that to, to have the gum? You both had it. Yeah. That was curious, but nonetheless... Uh, what was it like trying to get the gum out, get back to making love? Um, yeah, a bit uh, interrupted and un, uh, um, unfulfilled, I guess. Yeah, like we didn't get to. Uh, yeah, but what was that like? What did it do to her? Uh, to experience that in a dream. And you saw her going through the same thing. It was, there was a bit of frustration around that, but there was also this kind of warm feeling of just homecoming and being with someone that I love. Yeah. Um, 
But interestingly enough, I didn't recognize her. I just knew she was my girlfriend. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Laura came in. Yeah. And remember what she did? Uh, well, when she was there, the intimacy was broken. Yeah. It was more like now there's people there and now we're not the alone people anymore. Are around. Yeah. She uh, urged you to get the, take the gum out of your mouth. No, she was just joking about it. She joked about it? She what did that do to you to be the object of the joke? Uh, yeah, it was kind of like uh, the moment's broken. It wasn't that welcome. Yeah, the moment is broken. Yeah, the mystery. Yeah, the moment is broken. Yeah. 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 Now, we have these states of mind, and uh, we now can look at them together. Uh, is it possible that you could look at this and say which one was more intense than the other? Probably the moment that um, well, I, I, so probably the strongest emotion was seeing the girl across the way coming to me. Laura? No, no, no the, the, um, the the girl in the, the girl yeah, like that became into like oh wow, what? Uh, you're you're there, like oh wow, long time, you know. Oh, good. That was like a welcome, right, to, right, glad to see right. you kind of feeling. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah. That was a strong yeah. kind of uh, moment. Welcome. Surprise? Surprise. And um, happily surprised. And happy? Happy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, how would you compare that moment with uh, trying to get the gum out? Uh, In terms of intensity, yeah. Uh, that frustration you described to that end. Yeah, I guess equal. That kind of like seems like yeah. that would be equal also with yeah. the. Um, yeah, there's something common in, in its intensity between yeah. these two states. Balance. Yeah. 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 Uh, you certainly have experienced frustration before in life. Uh, how would you rank this state of mind compared with all the other occasions of? The, Encountering frustration was it higher or lower or than than all the others? Like it, we would like to rank it, like a scale of one to ten. Good. <laughs> uh, in my life, yeah. Oh, um, it was pretty much in the mid range. You know, kind of a five. Uh, right. It wasn't as intense as other things. No. And uh, how about, since there's the same intensity, it may nonetheless be greater or lesser. That is the moment when you welcome the young lady and it was a surprise and you were happy. Those equally can be ranked, can it not? Yeah, so... In terms of intensity? Yeah, or whatever standard you want to use. Well, you said I've experienced frustration. So okay. in the yeah. zone yeah. of frustrations, yeah. uh, you know, the gum was not that intense, five or six, and the... The, um, the welcome and the The, milk, the moment was higher. Yeah, I'd have to say it was higher, yeah. yeah. Maybe more like a seven. Seven, right. Actually... Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, uh, let's ask a question, see. It started with a ritual, right? Um, it was then that 
uh, you're in the, it moves then into the kitchen and the people are gathering around the fruit. Right? That moving away from the ritual, isn't it? What was that like, moving away from the ritual? See, that's a gap. What was Um, that was in, right, that was in. I, I felt like I was just moving on, moving away. I didn't need to be a part of that, kind of, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't part of that. <laughs> Dream will put you to sleep. Well, pardon me? Thank you, everybody, for what, what, what? putting up with this. <laughs> what did you say, come on? <laughs> uh, I, I just am uh, conscious about the effect that this might be having on the others. I hope it's... Um, Oh, we don't care about that. Whatever. <laughs> right? So you weren't part of the ritual. Was not, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, as far as you know in the dream... I was dream, an observer. Where was it going? Where was it? Is there any sense of where this ritual was going? Because the participant went along with it, and they were quite comfortable with it. Um, A curious ritual, too, with it on the table, with a nude person. Gosh, I don't remember. I can't. That's uh, okay. For the, yeah. Where was it going? I wouldn't. I can't say yeah. for oh, sure. Oh, that's fair enough. Right, right. But while it was going on, you would you could make a comment, could you not? You said, "Well, I wasn't part of that, so I was." The rest unfolded. Mm-hmm. But we were just wondering what it was like, insofar as you were present during that ritual. Yeah, I was um, kind of orbiting around, just walking, keeping my distance, kind of observing. And then, uh, you know, um, I, I guess I didn't want to know where it was going, maybe. Mm. Uh, uh. I'm kind of guessing here, but... Well, uh, no, it has to be in the dreams, that's all. Oh, um, yeah, let me... <laughs> if it's there, it's fine. Um, I don't remember thinking about that. I just was putting a little, I was just leaving the room, you know, going somewhere else. So, so yeah, so I wasn't part of this. I was going somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 right. Is there anything about that scene that you could describe as, uh, how was the table? Uh, it was kind of like a gurney. Table? Like it that? was kind of like a gurney covered with a sheet. Uh, okay. a, a, like. A, a, a high table on wheels. Oh. oh. And they were actually moving him, spinning him. Oh, they were spinning him. Turning oh. him slowly. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, good. Good. They're spinning him. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's in the dream. Yeah, too. like it was in the dream yeah. that he was, he, the table was being turned and yeah. he was kind of looking up at everybody and yeah. laughing about. And laughing. Yeah, he was, yeah. He was, yeah. He was, he was yeah. laughing. Yeah. Right, laughing away, smiling through it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, well, I didn't want any part of that, so I left. Yeah. Uh, but they did find it curious that they were moving the table around. And, you know, was any sense of um, um, beauty connected with that? Of what? Beauty. Anything beautiful in that? Um, I'm not sure I know why I'm going. Why I'm asking that question in all fullness, by the way. I just wondered. It really seemed like it was an okay thing. It wasn't like. Yeah. It was a. a, a yeah. I don't know. Like a ritual was something that that takes place in a kind of a sacred fashion, so everybody was kind of quiet, and uh, at the same time it was, um, you know, not extreme or threatening or anything. It was just kind of a weird, almost comic uh, thing that was transpiring. 
And I felt like I was not, maybe I left the room out of respect. That's kind of the thing that comes to me is that it was not my ritual, so I should probably leave the room. Yeah, it was more like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you felt that what you weren't part of that, so uh, you didn't want to be part of that. That's the reason why. But nonetheless, you had a respect for what was going on, but wasn't part of your interest, so you left. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, <clears throat> you see, what's interesting about that is that that is an episode that you left and all of this follows. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why we're going to explore it on that level. Now, uh, uh, see, now we have gone through the similes, right? And now we want to see whether we can, <clears throat> uh, why a cat? Is there any cat, any, anything interesting? It was my the, cat, it was a... Your cat? Yeah. Ah, good, good, good. Right, that's It was one of the two gray cats I recognized. Yeah, okay, yeah, all right. So it's uh, fr friendly? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, good, yeah. Uh, positive? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. Good. And uh, the people all around? It's funny because no, I, no I didn't remember. I wasn't looking at their faces. I didn't yeah. know who was there. Yeah. It was just a room full of people. Yeah. yeah. Kind of crowded into the kitchen. Yeah. So th th they can be treated indifferently mm -hmm. since you have no interest in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. 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 <clears throat> so then the drama starts with the young lady that comes in, and the drama unfolds, and uh, up to the point that Lara is in it, right? This is like a self-contained story within it. Yeah, and that yeah. little transition where I was kind of standing there eating my grapes, and I was kind of under a, maybe an olive tree. It was just kind of poking at the back of my head, so I was kind of having to crunch down and, yeah. and a little bit... Um, in the corner feeling. Yeah, that was a very, that, that, that was on that. Yeah. Yeah, talk about that for a moment. Um, I just had that distinct feeling that I was uh, being, having to like hunch down, like yeah. eat my little grapes in yeah. that fashion instead of just like standing up normally. Yeah, what was that like? Come on, crouched over eating your grape. Uh, right, <clears throat> crouched over eating your grape. I guess I felt a little like um, someone who's alone at a party. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. You know. Yeah. Uh, uh, not that I was uncomfortable, but just that I was alone. Yeah. I <clears throat> guess. Uh, uh, um, being crunched over like that didn't really bother me. Yeah. It yeah, felt okay yeah, to... Yeah. So then, uh, would you agree there's a shift in the dream than with the young lady, with the, one, the lady and... Yeah, everything kind of changed because then I walked changes. out into that garden and... Right, right, right. And... Um, um, and see, now... Uh, We've assigned metaphors to the cat. Uh, that we have a problem uh, with the ritual, but we covered it as a sacred ritual, even though there was something weird about it. The participant was laughing and obviously enjoying the scene. You were not, because you, uh, uh, out of respect of it, you weren't part of it, so you left, and then this, this scene then unfolded. So we can say, this is part one, right? With the people and the grape, part two. This part is three and includes, of course, Laura at the end. So it's a three-part dream. 
So we can now make divisions within the dream, which is worthwhile. Now we can talk about it. That doesn't necessarily correspond here. <clears throat> now, what, see, we're going we're to get close to the analogy. Um, it's interesting that you described uh, the first the first and the second in what may be similar ways, like out of respect you left, you weren't part of it, and now it looks like uh, with the grape episode, <clears throat> uh, uh, you're equally in a, a state which appears to be similar, doesn't it? Uh, in the sense maybe that the people were yeah. Indifferent to me and yeah. vice versa. Right. They're indifferent. Right. So that it looks like there's something similar going on, isn't it? That indifference is in two parts, one and two, but it shifts in the third. You're no longer indifferent. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, More, I'm mean, definitely engaged there. Engaged, like yes, you're in, engaged. interacting with yeah, people. There. Yeah, interacting, right. And that's very positive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, <clears throat> when did you have that dream? Uh, probably two or three days. Two, two or three days ago. A couple days okay. ago. <clears throat> Three days ago. Yeah. You have two states of mind, similes, that seem to be similar. Uh, the sense of indifference to things that are going on, not playing a role in it. Right? Uh, does it, that play a role uh, the day before, three days ago, in your life, in your everyday world? Like, oh. there's something sacred going on, but you're not involved in it, though it's a curious, weird kind of ritual, but <laughs> you don't identify with it, so you properly leave it, right? Then you're in a group of people, and uh, equally indifferent to them as you proceed with this great problem, right? Well, I just looked at my notes and the fact is is that I was in a meeting all day and um, hmm. uh, f feeling like uh, it was a kind of a necessary ritual. <laughs> 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 As if you had to put words to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the meeting, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. Oh uh, my God. So it was similar, right? Uh, and similar states of mind? Well, like, what do we uh, have? At that meeting? Like, uh, I would like to have not been there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Why do you find it interesting? I don't know. The, it, you could draw such parallels now. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah we're, yeah, we're going to go further. Uh, with, with, uh, <laughs> not... I would have not liked to be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, now, I'm, see, this is quite interesting because uh, <clears throat> since you identify quickly with that, um, being present at a sacred ritual is curious, isn't it? Um, have you had a past that was uh, involved in sacred matters? Uh, maybe not formally, but yeah, I mean, many oh. sacred moments. Yeah, you're a human being, you have a religious side to your nature. Yeah, what's happened to it? What's happened to the sacredness? Yeah. Uh, Is it still alive the way it was once, or...? Uh, hmm. I 
I guess in, in some respects, very much so, and in others, maybe not. Um, I don't know how much you want me to get into that, but... Well, it's, it's your story. It's important um, to, to state. Um. So, yeah, I could say that uh, there's some missing pieces, missing, uh, uh, an element of missing sacredness. In your life. In my life, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, in other words, in the dream, uh, you may have left earlier than you should have. I may have left yeah. earlier. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I could have yeah. stayed and watched or been yeah, part of it. Yeah, yeah, because it was cut off. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's go to the third part now. Uh, that was a nice shift, isn't it? Right? And now it's positive interacting. Right? Yeah. But... Um, it was interrupted. It was uh, frustrated with this gum episode. So we have to go to the state of mind that you were in that you called, well, it was unfulfilled. It was frustrating. Right? Could you add a couple of more words to that? Um. So I was anticipating what it was going to be like to kiss which I was thinking would be so nice. Sure, sure. And... Um, that was nice, a nice, and right, a positive, interested, in uh, And the fact that it was... Um, we didn't get to kiss. No, was because of this curious thing. With the gum. Yeah, yeah, so the gum yeah, was kind yeah. of gooey and sticking to my teeth. Yeah, well, that, well, that's it, right, sticking to your teeth. Yeah, what's, what, was, what was that like? Come on. Um, well, I had to put my hand in my mouth to try and pull it out. Yeah. And I was just grappling with it a bit. And um, What was that like, grappling with it and trying to get the... It was like a, an annoyance. <laughs> annoyance. An annoyance. More. Like, yeah, go ahead. Like, you know... Yeah. Just a, like this detail that was between us and kissing. Yeah, a, that's a good way of putting it. A detail was finishing. Between us and kissing. Yeah, talk about it. There was a detail between us that was blocking us from kissing, right? What, did, uh, what does that mean to you? There was a detail that was blocking me from and you were both involved in it, which is most important. Well, I could apply that to my life with my wife. Oh. A de details between us and kissing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, frustrating details. Yeah, frustrating and guilt. Right, right. So you, they go together often. <laughs> right. Yeah. And you recognize that in your relationship presently. The frustration? Yeah, I think you suggested that. Too. Yes. Am I correct? I could say that, yeah. Yeah. Now, what's the dream then telling you about this? That something minor... Something sticky. Yeah, something gooey. minor is blocking a more Was it between fulfilling us? relationship. Yeah, yeah. And it's something that... How would you express... Uh, the gum being caught in your mouth and you're trying to take this stuff out. Right? Um, Is there any, any uh, slogan or words that might describe it? Well, sticky, meaning no, just with the, the gum. I'm trying to get the gum out of your mouth, right? And uh, it's sticking to your teeth. And uh, how would you express that? The, the effect it had on you doing that. It blocks intimacy. Again, it seems like it was just an annoyance. Um, yeah, back with that annoyance. Yeah, more? Anything more? 
Um, See. Well, I, I also felt like we were, we were almost there. Like I, almost, I, I was almost finished cleaning that up. Oh, oh yeah, good, almost, good. Almost, good. Um, almost there, almost right. Almost there when, when uh, Laura, Laura walked in. Yeah, and then Laura it was came in and... Too, too late. Yeah, it ruins the whole thing. Right, right. I was, yeah. So look there. So you're, <coughs> over, you're overcoming this minor problem, right? Mm -hmm. And it's nearly completed, and mm -hmm. then Laura interrupts it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, Laura what? represents the money, uh, the accountant. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. What did you see in that moment just now? You just chuckled and I, I joined you. Uh, well, this thing of analogy, I guess, just like uh, it occurred to me that that's what she represented was uh, the the money. She was kind of hovering over us, you know, like ah. um, interrupting. Yeah, yeah. You know. and, that's inter and that's interfering with your Interfering with our... Right? That's with our great kiss. In your relationship, that's interfering. Yes. And it, yes, it is. Yeah. So it's telling you what's interfering in your relationship with that very rich image. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Ah. It's definitely uh, <laughs> accurate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So we're building, <laughs> we're building an analogy, aren't we, with your everyday world? Yeah. And it has an anagogic side, a divine side, from that opening scene. Now, uh, see, what's interesting about this dream is that the difficulty, the difficulty that kept you from being more intimate and, and expressive, you're nearly finished with it. See, you're nearly finished with it. It's only the last part of it, as it were, mm -hmm. persists. Mm -hmm. So to whatever degree this is a problem for you, the dream is saying, go ahead. Well, that, so when, you're, when the gum is in your mouth, and it's like the thing, you can't talk. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't oh, say anything. Oh, oh, oh. So my... Uh, yeah. It's keeping you from talking. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very important part blocks, intimacy, talking. But going back to the point, though, um, whatever it is that is blocking you from being intimate, you are handling it, and you're nearly finished with it. So it's only a lingering problem you have. Mm -hmm. That isn't much to get over. Mm -hmm. That might then resume the possibility of meaningful talks and intimacy. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. That, I feel, is true. Yeah. If you bring it back to my life, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Now, now we have a decision, you see. Um, what in your life, now this is an analogy, you see. What in your life might be functioning like the gum? All right? It's, what it is is something trivial that's blocking t talking and intimacy. And it's happened in your life, only in the dream you're cleaning up like you're ridding yourself of it and only a partial of that dynamic remains. Well, if the gum, uh, we, I d distinctly remember we both had gum in our mouths. Yeah, both. And uh, we were both trying to get the gum out of our mouths and... Uh, you know, so not that we were wanting to talk, of course, it was in the way of kissing, so, um, yeah. but that we were both working on getting the gum out of our mouths. Yeah. Yeah. What I would like to know is, watch now, the experience that accompanied getting the gum out of your mouth, <coughs> I will call that this, all right? When in your past have you experienced something like that? It's not the gun, but what it was like in the dream to experience it. 
Is that a kind of experience you've had in your past? Uh, yeah, it seems familiar. Good, good. Um, it was very sensational. Like I remember it sticking to certain parts of my teeth and mm -hmm. sticking to some, mm -hmm. you know, like the details of it I felt. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I, I kind of knew how to get it out. I kind of knew how to work it. That's mm -hmm. what I was thinking, you know, I mean, thinking about it now. I kind of knew how to work it. Um, uh, in my life, have I had similar sensations, mm -hmm. yes. sensation or yeah. emotion? Yes. Um, uh, in other words, was that foreign to you, or is that something that you recognized had played a role in your life previously to the dream? your whole life. Uh, it was familiar, okay. like not new, and um, I can't attach it to any okay, that's part right. of my okay. past. This is the point in every dream work that is a transition into one's personal past. And to explore that, I would have to go through the following questions. All right. Can you find an example of that state of mind early in your life? Let us say you could, here, here. We would pick the earliest one that you can recall and then describe the event that you could recall, recalled event. To discover what went on in the past that in fact was similar to this and where this very experience occurred in the past from which then became a model for the dreamer's future. In other words, it played a major role from that point on in the person's life through their lifetime. That phase of dream work is called philosophical midwifery. <laughs> and I don't do that in public unless the person is willing to go into such unknown, <laughs> and it will be unknown, and personal detail. So I'll hold that up, but that's where we would go further. Mm -hmm. So thank you much. <laughs> hold it, hold it. Hold it. Thank you, Mike. Wait a minute. This is yours. Hold it. My memento. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Yours? Whatever you do. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. You Well, she's working. Yes, please. Oh, sure, Lee, please. Later, no, right now. now. Okay. I picked up on a, on a few things that, um, first of all, you know, lying out there, completely vulnerable with your small <clears throat> genitalia, uh, it's like, you know, exposing yourself, and yet, you know, <coughs> that, if people really didn't ridicule or make fun of that, it's a good thing. Uh, Two things that really stuck out was the fact that when people were offering him grapes, his hands were full, so he couldn't fulfill himself, then the grape was dropped, which ended up being kind of a distraction with the cat. In the same way when 
he was attempting to kiss the girl, but there was that resistance with the gun. Mm -hmm. And the distraction was when Laura or the girl entered mm -hmm. the scene. So there were some distractions to getting needs met in some ways, mm -hmm. as I interpret. Yes. I just had that one thought that it was at the moment where he was nearly finished with the yes. gun that the interruption occurred. Exactly. So one, one question you might ask, uh, why did it disrupt you if you were so close to a conclusion? Yeah, see that. Yeah. Yes, please. Um, I, I took one summer and did some gestalt therapy work. But it was like brain surgery, with me doing it with my own dreams and stuff. And uh, I was looking into buying a house and I thought, well, let me sleep on this, okay? And I slept on it, and I woke up having a dream about, uh, I was in an apartment <coughs> with my cousin's wife, who I was always attracted to, and uh, my cousin wasn't there. And, I mean, through the whole dream, actually, I interpreted it, it was precognitive. I hadn't seen or heard anything about my cousin or his wife for several years. And I woke up, and the, the interpretation was that uh, the marriage, the foundation for the marriage is off, communication isn't there, and the marriage is ending. And uh, several days later, I met with uh, my parents, and my mother said, oh, did you hear about Howard? And I said, oh, he's getting a divorce. So where do precognitive dreams fit into this model, or do they all? That was precognitive. Okay. Okay, fair enough? Okay. Ah, he has it printed. What I enjoy, of course, is when they have copies of this and they can be distributed. This is not beer. <laughs> In case you wondered. Could you read it? Read it out loud. Uh, which, this is one, or more than one? It's one. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Just one thing, um, I just thought I'd ask, before we go to the next screen, do, would people just like to take a five minute break? Yeah. Would that feel good? Oh. Just to kind of process it. Okay. okay. Okay, just do a five. Okay. No, it's okay. Yeah. Have yours ready? It's so, it's so short. It's a that, real that's short. All you need is one sentence. I got one. Don't worry. <laughs> Yes, I try, but I know him, so I decided I wanted to show him. One of this for me, if I don't want to push any buttons, is just can you, can you project a little more? Out sure, okay. sure, sure, sure. <clears throat> <clears throat> with just that funky <coughs> blue donation box over there. So please, 
feel free to give anything that you feel you can. If you can't, that's not a problem. And that's all going to the committee. So, okay. Thanks. Before we go into the next one, I'd like to say a few words about daydreams. Daydreams are very important. Now, there are five different kinds of daydreams. I'd like to just talk about the one that's most interesting to us. Whenever you're engaged in something that is, requires your attention, something that's important to you, at any point, if you get a daydream that interrupts your work, that's the one you want to look at. All right? Now, in this beautiful picture here, here's a picture of a daydream. First of all, it comes spontaneously, bang, and occupies all your attention. You're identifying with the figure in the daydream. You forget about all else. You identify with the figure. The drama itself is not important because implicit in the image of yourself and the daydream is the whole drama. So when you get a daydream of such a nature, you can study the first image you have of yourself and you'll notice that the drama is nothing other than carrying out the implications of that image. By the way, that's a very interesting self-image. Why? Because you will find in every case, if you allow the drama to continue to its conclusion rather than have something interrupted, it always ends in a failure. Next. When it comes to the end as a failure, you wake up, you regain your status in the moment, and you forget it. This is really nothing other than the problem of enlightenment. Because falling asleep and identifying with a false image of the self is ignorance the origin of ignorance. Recognizing the failure, you recognize that this is false, but you don't deal with it. You allow it to, <laughs> you allow yourself to be absorbed in other events in your daily life. But in any case, this waking up is a moment of enlightenment. However brief, it's there this waking up. So you regain the everyday world. Unfortunately, you forget to reflect upon the fact that this is a very significant moment. Why? The self-image that you have is always, therefore, a false image of yourself. That's telling you something about yourself because that you're doing something in your everyday world where that false image of the self is playing a role right now in your immediate present. Second, this self-image you will see is connected with the dreams that you have. The, whatever negative image you have in the dream you will be able to match with the daydream. They're intimately connected. Right? So, next dream. Hi, I'm Cherise, and last month... Hold it, hold it. Oh, thanks. Hold it. Sure. Oh, thank you. Hi. A little louder. A little louder. Yeah, go ahead. I'm Charisse, and last month Pierre asked me to, Dr. Grimes asked me to bring a dream, and 
I could not remember a dream all month, and I've never had that happen to me before. Good. I thought that was something special. <laughs> okay, and then um, I, I did toss my fingers through an old dream journal earlier today. I said, no, 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 I'm not going to bring a 10-year-old dream in. When I, I lived two blocks away, when I arrived, Dr. Grimes said, you don't have a dream? And I said, hmm. And I said, write it out. you have dream? So I ran back home, and I ran back with this dream. I just ripped out a page from my dream journal from 10 year, 12 years ago, actually. So this is a time travel dream. There is no time. So uh, in the month of February, um, Rusty Anderson, he's a uh, guitar player. What are you doing? I'm repeat it. Come on. Rusty Anderson yes. um, was a guitar player and was in the front room, and I was in the back room. Hold it. I'm good at drawing houses. Did you like that? <laughs> and you're in the back room. Yeah, he was in the front room, and I was in the back room. Uh huh. And I was playing a song on my guitar. Ah, I'm good at drawing musical instruments. Nice. <laughs> then, then Paul McCartney came in. And I began talking to him. Uh, that's a gentleman that's well known, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to show off my yeah. knowledge. I, I appreciate, I, and he yes. appreciates it as well. Go ahead. Um, he came in, and, and it was like 60th Street, which is a street. What? what, what? It, and he came in, and it suddenly was like 60th Street, which is the street that I grew up on in Chicago. Oh, let me see that. <laughs> And he was like the 60s. And it was like 60th Street. It was to him. suddenly the energy in the room. He was hurrying room. back from the Super Bowl. And I said, <laughs> And it was ahead. like, okay. And he was hurrying back from the Super Bowl. And I said, Paul, you're going to sleep like you're six years old tonight. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Hold it. No, go ahead. And then he and I spoke of the weather differences in Chicago. You talked about the weather? Mm, we talked about Chicago, the weather. Which is normal. Yeah, yes, hold on, it was, hold yeah. It. it was fine, hold it. practical. Yeah, that's what you were talking to. Yeah. For, Did he say anything about it or just It you? was, yes, it was, well, he was saying... That's it, what you were talking with him? Yes, regarding yeah. his parents coming to visit and how they might experience Good. the weather changes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that, it. That's it. That's, that's pretty wonderful. much it. Yeah. Oh, wait. At wait, the wait bottom, I wrote something. Hold it. <laughs> okay, what did I write? Hold okay. it. Hold and, it. Uh, Hold oopsie. it. Just a moment. <laughs> Elsie's asking what I am to do. Oh, hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay, so um, this when is a note. When the parents came in, go ahead. Uh, the, this, previous, this bottom part was a note to myself that, um, that I had fallen asleep before I had the dream and asked what I am to do. And then I woke up in the middle of the night and wrote this down in the dark. Beautiful. Thank Voila. You. Yes, let me make sure. Yeah, okay, that last part is not part of the dream. No, that was good, me. Good, good, good. What is that? Just uh, me noting that I had asked for a specific dream, and this somehow was an answer to a specific yes, question. Yes, 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 yes. What am I to do? Well, I am to do that. There you go. Yeah. Okay. What am I going to ask? First question. What am I going to go for first? Right? What kind of questions am I going to ask? They're going to be symbols. Right. Be right. Anything here that suggests you might want to pick out? Well, I see something symbolic right away with a front room and a back room. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where would you go? Uh, I think what it, what it is to have to be asleep as opposed to be awake. Okay. 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 Someone else? Miss? All right. Okay. Look, um, say, uh, 
Who was that you were talking with? Who was the guy? The first person was Rusty Anderson, was in the room, in the front room. And then Paul came hold it, in. Hold it, hold it. What was his name? In the Paul? kitchen. Paul McCartney. Do you know him? Um, <laughs> not personally. Oh, in the dream, what was it like meeting and talking with Paul McCartney? It was like home. What? Because it was like home because six it, Pardon years, me. It was like being at home? Yeah. In the uh, kitchen. What, wait, at a minute, home. wait a minute. It was like being at home. Is that right? In the kitchen. <laughs> Hold it. Uh, in the dream. Mm -hmm. uh, how did he look? He looked, crying. He was crying. How did he look? Well, he was. Um, no. Hurrying. What? He was hurrying. Hurrying. Hurrying back from the Super Bowl. He was hurrying from the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 And he's now talking with you. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it like talking to the dude? Oh, I guess I was reassuring him somehow that uh, meant you have landed, like you're going to sleep. You wanted like you're to reassure six him. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Why? In the dream. Oh, uh, reassure him. Let me see if that's the right word. Uh, I, or, or just encourage, or, or like. Um, um, have some fun, maybe. Yeah, you're going to sleep like you're six years old tonight, Woo, like that or something. Oh, okay. Uh, Say, so, is it possible that you had some uh, feelings towards Paul? Oh, sure, like a... Uh, like what? <laughs> I don't know, but I, it's, it's like a friend, probably. What kind of a friend? Well, a little oh, one. Oh, you're going to sleep. A yeah, sleep. Like a, yeah, like somebody. No, what? Somebody that I related to. Um, In the dream, what was it like meeting and talking with Paul McCarthy? Familiar. McCarthy. Uh, like family, I guess. Pardon me? Like family. Uh, so, like, like a family member. Kind of like that, yeah. So it was, right, kinship. Kinship. Yeah. Definitely. Good, good, good. Yeah. Good. good. Like an older yeah. brother. By the way, what were you doing at the time? I was just um, in the back, back room, I, were, I guess. You were playing. I was playing a song, of course. You were playing the guitar. Yeah, Oh. I was playing a song. Uh, is it possible that that's something he might play? Probably not. Huh? Because whenever I play the guitar, I play my own songs. Yeah. Uh, is it possible that uh, Paul may have had some interest in a guitar? Oh, 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 uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, oh. Uh, is it possible that uh, he heard it? Heard you play? Possible, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what did it do to him that you're playing a guitar? Probably put him to sleep. I mean, I mean, like in a <laughs> like he was six years old. I don't know. It, yeah, it no, it's like, in the dream now. Come I know, on. But so, so what it what it did was it. Uh, As you, was I, I'll help you. Was he was bored. No, oh, you tell me now. Bad. Um, uh, I would say um, this is a good situation, basically. Like um, the energy was good for feeling tell, cozy. Look here, you have to tell me now. You were playing the guitar, grade the way you were playing, like a beginner. No. Would he appreciate what yeah. you were playing and how you were playing yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's important. A little bit or half a bit or two a bits? Lot. What? A lot. A lot. Oh. Did he then enjoy your playing? Um, uh, I'm assuming so. Uh, well, it's in the dream. I mean, did he, well, throw, did he throw anything at you for playing? Well, he... Uh, no. No. Come on. So, I was confident. You were? I was confident because I was... You, you were you're confident? You're going to sleep like a six-year-old. This is yeah. so nice right now. Yeah, good. See, you were confident about your plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you give a grade for how you were playing? Well, probably in that situation. In the dream. Um, right. I'd say... Uh, uh, probably, pretty, like, you know... Pretty good one? Yeah. Eight. Yeah, the best of your playing, or Probably way down at the bottom. Probably trying to be my best. What? I'd say ten. Yeah. Pardon me. <laughs> I'll give myself a ten. 
<laughs> well, it's a dream. Yeah, of course it's a dream. Now so you, come I'll on. say yes. Yes means what? Ten. Way up in the air? Yeah. A uh, tenor. Okay. Yeah, You're playing it. your best. Yeah, I'm playing, playing Thank my you. Best. That was helpful. Thank and, you. Uh, hey, what effect did it have on him? Uh, Is it in the dream or not? Well, if you're going to connect the dots. Is it possible? By the way, were you playing your own song or one of his? One of my songs. What? One of mine. Oh, one of my songs. then you were playing one of your songs. Right? Yeah, good, 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 good. Uh, is it possible that he may have recognized that? No. I mean, not like... Uh, In a dream? Uh, no. Probably not. Oh, that's a good question, though. Yeah, um, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer. Well, by the way, again, you do you have any you. idea of the way he appeared to you while you were playing your best and playing one of your songs? Um, it was like old hat. What? Old hat. Again? Like old hat. Like it was just kind of... Old hat. Yeah. Yeah, what the heck does that mean? Well, that means just um, comfortable, like, in your own He was comfortable skin. with it? Mm-hmm. Ah, that like means he appreciated it? Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah, it's just, thank you, thank you. you. Know, yeah. It's like a good feeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Part of the... Yeah, 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 I like that, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, would you say you have an interesting relationship with him at that time through music? I mean, he's admiring, appreciating what you're doing. It's your song, oh. your playing. Oh my God, I can't believe. Okay, I'm sorry. I just had a flashback to this other yeah, dream yeah, that yeah, I, yeah. I, I can't believe I forgot. That's okay. okay. You only have what you have the dream. You only can pull out of it what's oh. there. Don't fish for more. I know, but this was this is this code. I, I, I'm getting some code here. Um, oh. I'm sorry. Uh, code. I, I had Paul. Oh. I had Paul McCartney's name was in, I, uh, it's a long, see, it's a dream, but I can't, I wish I had remembered to tell you that one. Yeah. But they triggered the memory of it, which is interesting because certain things trigger my memory uh, that I otherwise wouldn't remember. It's in, the, the odd part about that is that I had to choose a dream between this dream and the other one on this piece of paper and I was, I had a, a memory that got triggered in real life. I tripped over my guitar, and then that made me remember that. Oh, no, no, you, no, that's a different dream. Yeah, I know. Now stay on this Sorry. as much as I'd like to get into that one. That's just, it's too cryptic. I apologize. Okay, all right. Now there's a kinship. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. But, by the way, have you had kinships with other people in the past? Yes. Uh, where would you rank this one? Oh, right up there. About a ten yeah, or two. Ten. Yeah, okay. <coughs> yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, say, offhand, um, uh, where was it going? Pardon? What I mean by that is, um, did you by chance change the subject when you talked about the weather in Chicago? Hmm. Hmm. Probably. Uh, I don't know the word, probably. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. It sounds like something I might have done. Hmm. Just mm. to play it so safe you then or something. started not only talking about the weather in Chicago, but you wanted to know whose parents are they? <laughs> His parents. His parents. Oh, Paul's parents, right? Uh-huh. Good, good, good. <laughs> So you want to know how Paul's parents were enduring the weather in Chicago. He, yeah, he spoke yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, when you were adding that subject, <laughs> how did he appear as you were talking to him about the weather in Chicago? <laughs> Less present. What? Less present. Not present. That is present. Not present. Hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 What do you think of that? It's rather interesting, isn't it? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it's well, reminded me of the last dream that you analyzed. It does mind. remind you of something. Yeah. What? 
when I had that UFO in my rearview window and I just drove the other direction. It's sort of the same kind of thing. Like, <laughs> I have like something right here, and I'm like. So why are you having that dream? Why are you having that dream? It. It's why reminding you of something, isn't it? It's reminding. It is. Oh, I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, yeah. By the way, do you know any stories about boys and girls? <laughs> I think you do. <laughs> oh, uh, was there a shift here where it was getting kind of kinship and you shifted it to the weather? Oh. Yeah. What, yeah, what did that do to the kinship? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not so much. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> And then, and this is this dream is in response to me asking what I am to do, like an open question. What am I to do? No, no, that wasn't in the dream, was it? No, but it is. The That's dream when you is woke a up. Response to my question. Can't use it. Can't use it. No, nope. just stay in the dream. Good. Uh, say as you look at what you're saying in these states of mind that you've uh, identified. <laughs> Uh, it looks like there's a shift between that kinship experience and the weather talk. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. What did it? What did it avoid? Intimacy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Would it have been a rather uh, historic meeting if it had taken place? Like, is the guy, uh, what's his name, Paul? Mm -hmm. Was he well known by some people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, oh. Uh, is he kind of high on the scale of interesting people? Uh, or he he's a, could, he, he, or a low member. No, I think that um, the answer is obviously yes. Yeah, yeah. Good match, you might say? It, 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 well... Uh, do you think uh, it might be a good match? It, it might have been. Yeah, you also have something in common with him, playing your own songs and things like that. You appreciated it? Yeah. Yeah. What do you do with that, uh, that encounter? Hmm, trash that. Hmm. Huh. Where well, have you... Hey. What am I going to ask you? Um, right now? Yeah. Hmm. Where have you experienced that before? Oh. Okay. Have you? Yeah. Right? Things sure. are going, hey, That's things are going definitely. real hot, and then you. Yeah. Phew. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Definitely. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, that's... Yeah, I, I wonder why you backed away from the relationship. Because it occurred right here when you shifted to talk about the weather. What was that like in the dream at that moment when you turned around and talked about the weather? Um... Pregnant pause, I think I felt out on a limb. I was in a, swimming in like this unknown uh, kind of feeling. And so I uh, accommodated that feeling or something, you know. Yeah, just, yeah. You're familiar with that state? Being. Yeah, just not yeah, being yeah. able to just What have be. you paid for that state of, in your past life? Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, time to get out of it? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think you're having it? Having the dream. To tell you to get the hell out of it, right? <laughs> to, to what? To, this was, you know, it's it's 12 years old, and it's still yes. vital. It's, yeah. It started and when you were 12 years prophetic. old. Yeah. Now, if we wanted to explore that, then we would have to then go into philosophical midwifery to see the origin of that. 
which I'd rather not do in public. Not but, at all. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. That was my pleasure. Inspiring. Thank you. And, uh, I've been thinking about that one for a while. Okay. <laughs> Did we do the same thing? Notice we didn't need to metaphors since obviously Paul McCarthy is well known, and he, therefore he's a high personage in the in one's history and social world. And uh, we all know about how important weather is in Chicago. <laughs> okay. oh, all right. This is yours. <laughs> Hold it. What about the guy named Rusty? What about the guy on the? Was there any significance with the Rusty Anderson guitar player? I don't know. I mean, he was in the front room, and I was in the back room. That was something I wanted to That's about. very important. Thank you. Yeah, it's important. Yeah. Why is it important? Uh, well, he's a player in the dream. Uh, he's, a, he's Paul McCartney's guitar player. Uh, why is it important? So you'd, have to ask, you'd have to ask the dreamer, do you know anything about Paul McCartney's parents in any way? Uh, a, a little bit. A little bit? Uh -huh. Yeah, how much is a little bit? Well, uh, I know that his mom died at a young age and that his, his family played upright piano with his dad and they all sang songs in the house. So they represent all of those kinds of factors. And that would go on the metaphor level. So you're quite right. Okay. Right, right, right. <clears throat> Sir? Yeah. Would you say there's an anagogic dimension to the dream? Well, um, see, to re raise that level is, is always important, you see. <clears throat> um, Okay, uh, uh, offhand, uh, what was the guy's name again? Paul? McCartney. Oh. Uh, does he have a certain status? Yes. Uh, how important is the dude? <coughs> Worldwide, world scale. Worldwide? <coughs> Did he perhaps start some kind of a movement? Um, yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah. Was he connected with Yellow Submarines? Yes. Huh? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. See, now what, what is the importance of that personage in the dream? We're now raising his status, are we not? Right? Now the higher that status goes, you have to go into the anagogic. I do not know your interest in things of the spirit, uh, spiritual significance of things. Yes. But what do you think of Paul and the, uh, among spiritual beings on this planet, where would you rank him? Mm. On the bottom? No. No? Okay. No, I mean... I tried to help. Go ahead. <laughs> right up there. Way up there. Yeah. See, draw from her the significance of those figures, then you can see even more dramatically that this is another case similar to the one we had a moment ago, whether there's a high point that could, that could mature into a more meaningful relationship and she dodged it, and therefore that has an anagogic side to it, that she's cut off her spiritual development. And needs to get back in it through music, which is interesting. Thank you. So thank you for your question. Hi. All right. Wow. Thank you so much. 
I know the artwork is priceless. <laughs> the anatomy is really. Okay, for a moment. Did we do the same thing? <clears throat> Focus on states of mind. Rank them in a hierarchy. See their significance. Compare them, compare the different states of mind or similes. Try to then go for the most important. And then see whether we can find an analogy into the present, which she <clears throat> quickly gave, did she not? So we're following the same thing. You can do the same. Don't interpret, never interpret. Because the person is the source of all the wisdom. The person is, 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 is divine. And you don't interfere with the divine. And every person has a spiritual basis. So you don't interpret. Sir? In that way, that's what makes this very different than a Jungian. <clears throat> that makes this very different than a Jungian analysis of a dream, which has a lot of interpretive things. Yeah. It's yeah. not that way. Yeah, yeah, nice. All right, could you read it aloud, please? <clears throat> okay. Uh, it was in a scholastic type environment, and we were kind of figuring some things out. Like slow. Um, and that was the theme of what was going on. That's kind of like a vague entry into the dream. Um, I was with this girl, we had just got back from doing something. She's younger and ethnic with curly hair. She was wearing red shorts and a white t-shirt like a soccer uniform, uh, something sporty, and I may have been wearing the same uniform myself. I don't remember the interactions per se, but we were just learning things together. Um, and uh, we ended up being on a balcony overlooking the ocean. Uh, as if we were in uh, Pacific Palisades, kind of looking over towards RPV. <clears throat> and then I looked up to the right, and there's these magnificent flying machines heading south. They're huge, big. Uh, but they weren't airplanes. They were, they were flying machines. There was something special about them. It was like a new technology to me. It's like they weren't spaceships, but they weren't airplanes. They were somewhere in between. They just fly. They levitate. Their propulsion was different. Uh, I don't know, they were special. And they were not super multicolored, but very bold colors. Uh, red, one was red and blue, and they're nice. They looked, um, they looked like catamarans, like, just like big flying catamarans. And I was like, whoa, check that out. And just as I was tripping out on those things, this little flying, flying drone robot thing comes up and buzzes the balcony that we're on. Um, it was a really nice back balcony. It was like luxurious, kind of modern, Mediterranean-ish. <clears throat> and then I, and I stood on the edge of the balcony and I let it come close to me. And I tried to get it to come close to me because I wanted to grab it and, and just grab the drone to see how strong it was um, and str how strong it pulls. And so I'm playing with the little flying drone to see how smart it is, and I'm pulling on it, and it was like, wow, this thing's pretty strong. And then I let it go, and this eagle swoops in and scares the drone and lands on the balcony, um, and then I get dis re-distracted by the girl again. So we, <laughs> so, we, so, we, uh, so we go and jump on the bed on the balcony, and we're sitting there playing, and there's a little puppy on the bed. Um, and she kind of dived onto the bed. She's at the top right, and then the puppy is laying on the top left pillow, and I jump on the bed, and I say, oh, wow, and I jump on the bed, and I'm on my belly, and I pull the puppy and start kissing the puppy, and then she whips out her phone, and she takes a picture of it, and I was good with it. I was having fun, and I was like, usually I wouldn't do this, but okay, I'll do it. <laughs> um, and so I got distracted by the puppy and messing with the girl, and then after I got done getting the picture taken of me and the puppy, then I look over at the eagle, and it's just sitting there. He's, he's not majestic, though. He's a bald eagle, but he looked like he was molting. It's, he was, he was, it wasn't really bad, but it was like he was going through his molt, or either coming in and out of it, 
uh, his mold. And he was just oddly posted up there, just kind of just kicking it. And I noticed that there was this weird, unattractive growth coming out of the eagle, but it wasn't necessarily gross. It was just part of, of the molting process. It was just like one huge testicle. <laughs> and then I, then I come out um, at that point, and then it, the scene breaks, and I go out of a door, which leads me to kind of a, a woods. And all of a sudden, the environment took, t changes to foresty and kind of rustic. And then I look, I turn around and I see one door that I just came out of. It's like the Mediterranean door. And then there's one door that's really rustic. It's like a cabin and it just says Marty on it. Um, and for a minute, I, I was like, oh, I don't get to go back into the, into the cool Mediterranean thing with the girl, the puppy, the eagle, the drone, and the flying spaceships. I felt like I, for a moment I got kicked out of that. But then... I, rem I looked at the, the rustic door, and I, I, remember going, I remember going into it now, and there's just a, it's just a little, you know, 10 by 10, and it's just rustic and just books all over the shelves. And I was like, um, I, did, I started to feel sorry for myself that I wasn't in that other room, and then I thought about <clears> it, it's like, wait a minute, I just got promoted, this is... I just got basically put on staff, so I no longer, and so, I, and then I woke up as soon as I made that realization. Oh, I want to hear more. <laughs> How about helping? What are you going to do first? Highs and lows. Pardon? Highs and lows, the climax points. More? <laughs> See, uh, when you have a dream that has these phases in it, there are paragraphs, so you separate them out. And just focus on the first one as if it was alone, the dream. Read it again, please. Um, it was a scholastic type environment and we were figuring some things out or that was the theme of what was going on. I'm with the girl. We had just got back from doing something together. She's younger and ethnic with curly hair and she's wearing red shorts and a white t-shirt like a soccer uniform, something sporty and I may, I may have been wearing the same uniform. Hmm. Is there a state of mind in that first paragraph that's worth inquiring about? Read it once more. <clears throat> uh, it was a scholastic type environment where we, were, where we were kind of figuring things out. Or that was the theme of what was going on. I was with the girl. We just got back from doing something together. She's younger ethnic, curly hair. She was wearing red shorts and a white t-shirt, and I may have been wearing the same. So the state of mind might have been confusion. You're trying to figure something out. There are two parts to the first paragraph. Agree? There's a state of mind in the first part, is it not? Read the first. It was a scholastic type environment where we were figuring some things out. I was figuring something out. That's a state of mind. What was it like figuring out something? It the... was really good because we were working together. Me and the girl were when, working when, together. When, hold it. Working together. How? Um, I don't remember exactly what it was, but we were solving problems. That's okay. Solving a problem. Like, we, we, uh, were a team, we were a team. Yeah, very boring. No, no, it was, it was um, I don't remember the whole scene with That's her, okay. but it was just, it led into, it's like really satisfying. It's like, it's yeah, really okay, satisfying. We're, we were making some really good progress. Oh. On really? whatever the problem was we were working on at school. We were, we were like uh, study buddies. Yeah. yeah. It was like. Uh, she was, we were study buddies. Yeah. And it was, we were, we were, we were successful. We were yeah. being successful. Yeah. It's almost. I don't want to push too much into it. That's all right. It's almost as if the, the patio was a reward. Yeah. Like we had made it to a level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice state of mind. Oh, it was good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, by the way, the second part, and there was a girl. 
And then, and then there was a girl. Uh, yeah. She was younger. Yeah. Ethnic, curly hair. Yeah. Okay. Tall though. I'll make her taller. <laughs> it's easy to draw taller. Yeah, women. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. What was it like with her? You're right. You're interested. Right. You describe the clothing. Go ahead. Um, I have to say that in the dream, yeah. I was kind of analyzing the dream. I was in two. Yeah. As I saw the, as I saw these details, I was thinking almost kind of like in a waking state. Wow, why is she wearing that uniform? I was, I was in the dream and thinking about the dream kind of at the same time. And I yeah. puzzled on, oh, the uniform. What's up with the uniform? Am I wearing one too? I asked myself that question in the dream. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, would you agree there appears to be a transition from the first to the second? Yes, going into more of a sporty, yeah, yeah, yeah. A sporty mode, as opposed to a, a scholastic mode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, oh, it's like uh, actually we we got off, uh, we were off. It's like we were because we could go play now. We had done our work. We had done our homework or whatever. Oh, was that finished then? Well, yeah. I mean, now uh, the the, the now state we, of mind. We can change it, but didn't you say it was? You were really solving it, but did you solve that, it? It, I don't know what it was. We had solved something that I don't remember. Oh, then that was completed. It's, yes, and that we had moved into a new... It's almost like going to the patio was be, our reward for doing our homework good or something like that. It was a prize. Yes. Yes. Felt like a reward. It right? felt like a reward. Yeah. Like we had won. Maybe a game, even given that she was in a uniform. Oh, yes. Well, that's very important. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, a different kind of problem, right? Yeah. Uh, I wonder whether that continues in the next part. Go ahead, next paragraph. <clears throat> I don't remember any interactions, but we ended up being on the balcony overlooking the ocean. Like, I, like as if I was in Pacific Palisades looking towards RPV. And I look up to the right and there are these magnificent flying machines heading south. Big. They weren't airplanes, they weren't flying, they were flying machines. There was something special about them. It was like a new technology to me. Uh, it's like they weren't spaceships, but they weren't airplanes either. Somewhere in between, they just fly or they levitate. Their propulsion was totally different. They were special. Uh, and they were not super multicolored, but very bold colors, red and blue. And they're nice. And they look like uh, like big catamaran, big flying catamarans. Yeah. Um, how would you describe what you were doing in the dream at that point? Right, there you are. Go ahead. As soon as I went, as soon as we kind of went into this room, yeah. that's when the, the flying yeah. uh, ships yeah. came, yeah. and yeah. I was just captivated by that. Yeah. I was like, and there's the one sentence there, whoa, check that out. They were massive. Yeah. Um, is that a puzzle? Were you working through another puzzle? Yeah, because I wondered, I didn't know what it was. I was like, yeah. whoa, whoa yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's that like? It was, I was like, it was, um, it, the fact that it was so different, I can't even relate it to any other thing. Good. It was so, those flying things were so special, I have never experienced anything <laughs> like it. Yeah. Now, what did it do to you? I was excited. Right, right, right. <laughs> Third paragraph. Um, and as I was tripping out on those things, the little flying drone robot thing comes up and buzzes the balcony that we're on. We're on a nice balcony, the Mediterranean balcony, and I, and I let the thing come close to me. And I tried to get it to come closer because I want to I grab it 
uh, and see how strong it is. Uh, and I'm playing with the little flying drone to see how smart it is. I'm pulling on it, and it was like, I was like, mm -hmm. I had I grabbed it with two hands, and it was right there. It's like it was round. Mm -hmm. It had the personality of R2D2. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it was just sort of like a round, it's like the new R2-D2 in the new one, the round thing, but it just had handles on the bottom and I grabbed it and it tried to pull away and I was like, I was pulling it and I was laughing, I was like, look, I got it, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and then I let, it couldn't, it couldn't pull me though, it couldn't pull me over the ledge. I, I was stronger than it and I was just playing with it. It's like I could pull you over if I want. Mm -hmm. And then I let it up and then that's when the eagle swooped in on it. Yeah. Uh, again, state of mind while you're doing all that? I was playing with the drone. Right. Totally. Playing totally? With the drone. And that was like? Um, there was a little bit, I, there was a little bit of sinister to it. I was being impish. I knew it was there to spy on me and it, it didn't necessarily mean me good and I didn't care. Yeah, good. I was, to I was totally provoking it. I right. wanted to provoke totally the drone. Right, totally involved Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, second part of the dream, keep going. Um, I let it go and then the eagle swoops and scares it away. And then... Um, no. Did I miss a part? I let it go and the eagle swoops and scares away the drone and lands on the balcony. Right. Then I get distracted by the girl. Uh, what? <laughs> you got distracted I got distracted by, by her. Yeah. No, go ahead. Um, and we go jump on the bed on the balcony that we are, where we're playing, and there's a little puppy on the bed. She kind of dived on the bed, and she's up at the front, the top right, and the puppy's laying on the left pillow, and I jump on the bed, and I say, oh, wow. And I jump on the bed so that on my belly, and I pull the puppy and start kissing the puppy, and then she whips out her phone and takes a picture of it, and I was cool with it, and I was having fun. And I knew she was going to put it like on Facebook or some shit. <laughs> and I was like, who cares? Good. Um, talk to me about In the Dream, the girl. Uh, but there are a lot of them, you know. You, you, well, there are. She, she just knew me. Yeah, what? She knew me. She, yeah, what about her? I mean, there are a lot of them. Have you noticed? There are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one, she, she actually, I had an older dream like a few years back, and she's the same, she's the same girl. What'd she look like? She was, like I said, she was ethnic. Yeah, but that um, doesn't tell me what she's like. I don't know. Um, uh, I'll, I'll help you. You were bored with her. No, 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 no. Ah, okay. No. Um, uh, by chance, would you use the word attracted to her? Yeah, but in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, more intellectual, or team, teamwork, it was like a good team, it was a bond. We were, we were there was some kind of bond oh, oh. already between us. And we had gone through, it's like I wasn't worried about any type of courtship type thing. We had already done, we had already gone through the preliminaries. We were already kind of together, a team already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so, she was just like, she just... Yeah, you passed the preliminaries, which is why then you jumped into bed and kissed the dog. <laughs> well, <laughs> she was already able to make me do, th well, she was already able to make me do things I, did, I didn't necessarily wouldn't do. So I was, I guess I was, uh, uh, what's the word? I was smitten. I was smitten with her for sure. Say it again. I was smitten with her. I, I would do anything she, whatever she told me to do, I was going to do, no matter what. Oh. <laughs> and she told you to kiss the dog. She wanted me to kiss the dog. Well, right. maybe now, I don't do know if she of, told me to kiss. I think I even kissed the yeah, dog you, just to impress her. You have to tell me. <laughs> you have to tell me what it's like being a girl that you're with and you're already accomplished the relationship. It was completely relaxing. All of my, okay. def all of my defenses were down. Yeah. I didn't even, it's like, it was even with the drone, I didn't even care. Yeah. I was playing with it I know, and I knew it was bad for me. What? I knew the drone didn't mean me any good and I was just like playing with it, kind of just to show her I don't care. See? Oh, you're... And, all my, and I was just like, fully... Wait, I was, wait, wait, I, I, 
showing her I didn't care. I didn't care about it, that it threatened me. I was the, this was my world and I, um, I was trying to impress, I was impressing her. Yeah, that's a good way, yeah. That I wasn't scared of this. Yeah, and especially kissing the dog. And kissing, <laughs> and kissing a puppy. Yeah. A little white puppy, it was, cute. It was very cute though. Yeah, I'm with you, yeah. Uh, she distracted you from this uh, episode with the drone, you said, didn't you? Is, is that there? It broke the, enough, no. to, enough to change the scene yeah, of the get, dream. Yeah. I get distracted by the drone. Yeah. And uh, you already had a relationship with her, and, you, and uh, the feeling you have in the dream at that point is, I didn't care, I didn't care, uh, it's my world, right? Uh, what does that mean? Uh, what state of mind is that? With a girl that you have a relationship with, it's already accomplished. I could put the, I, 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 I can recall the state, I can't put, I don't know the word. Well, try. Um, I'm not really, I don't. Well, are you familiar with that state of mind, even though you can't put words on it now? Barely familiar with it. Huh? Just a little bit familiar with it. Well, I don't know. A little bit is a lot of it. Could be. You are familiar with it, though. Um, I don't know. It's like, it was like a simpatico. Okay. Um, I really don't know where to go with that. I, I'm, I'm kind of stuck at it as far as... Because you find it difficult to describe, finish the sentence. I, don't, I can't recall how I got there. That's okay. So I don't know, I, that's I'm okay. not, it's vague of what it actually really was. That, but, but that you were there, you don't have to worry how you got there. What was it like being there? It was, compl it was, uh, it was completely, uh, it's like the aperture of communication was 100% open. That I was, we were, we had communicated, un un it was unimpeded, it was, um, I don't know. I, I can't. I can't describe it in the duality. I can only describe it. Well, you're saying it was a. There's something about communication between you and the girl that's important. Yeah. There was no. Oh, there was no words. There was absolutely no words between her and I were spoken. It was just I knew exactly what. She. It's as if we didn't have to speak. It was almost like t it was like a telepathic. Good. Bond. Good. That's good. Hey. Hey. It was like a, a yin to a yang. Yeah. It was like, it was, yeah. It was supposed to, it was a perfect match. Yeah. It was yeah. like a perfect yeah. match. Yeah. 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 By the way, uh, in that perfect match, uh, did you not say you're willing to do anything that she uh, had an interest in or was interested in? Yeah, that was, Yeah, I was willing to work with that. Yeah, willing to go along. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Willing to go along with her wishes or, is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, actually when it came to the, the picture, with the puppy, and the it was like, uh, she's all like, I know you can do it. Stop being so, uh, don't be so yeah. close. Open yeah. up a little bit. She was like, 
she took the picture just for that purpose to almost like selfie me yeah. to, to show that I could be that nice yeah. or be that, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like for proof. Yeah, certainly better than having a picture with her that way. <laughs> That's an interesting thought. Why? I, don't, well, I didn't a, think about that. Well, think about it now. I mean, it's just in the dream. Huh. I don't know how to respond to that. Well, that's okay. Keep going. Well, the dog surely can't take the picture. <laughs> that's true. It's a dream, it could. <laughs> or maybe the drone. Yeah. What did you find interesting about the question? Well, now you just have me thinking about her role. I never yeah. really, I didn't think about the role that she played. I just placed her in there as a... Yeah, but now you have to think about that. I have to yeah. think about the yeah. role. What would you conclude then about your relationship, given what you were saying? What was the question it seemed, I asked? Uh, well, um... Which, which, uh, the nature of the relationship, or yeah, oh, or or the difference between what it have, what it had been if me kissing her versus the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. It. Um. It wasn't romantic in the dream. The dream was not romantic. It doesn't look it. It didn't have a romantic element to it. Yeah. It had a very. It was very playful, but yeah, it still had the feminine masculine dynamic in it. Yeah, yeah. At least, yeah. A, or a little bit of it. A little bit of it. A little not bit, much. anyhow. Yeah. A little bit, not yeah. much. A little bit of it. Yeah. It was, more of, it was more of a profound friendship than it was... A romance. A romance. Yeah, yeah. So then, uh, this relationship... You, you thought of it previously as a perfect match. But now you're saying it was really... Uh, finish it? But it was a French. Uh, I mean, a it, was, friendship. it was a friendship. But to oh. me, that's the same thing. Well, in a often sense. when people have a perfect match with a girl, it well, often is more than friendship. Okay, all right. Statistically. Well, the rest is easy. The other part's easy. Okay. So therefore. That's not the other part's not complex. Okay. So the then, friendship part is complex. Yeah. Okay. So it's a perfect match in respect to having a uh, as a team as a teammate pardon as a teammate or huh? a, as a teammate or because we had came in the the theme of, of of a team member came in i don't know why where it came from but again back to the sporting uniform we were on a team yeah. first and foremost yeah. there may have been some other I like being playful and jumping on the bed with the dog. Yeah. That, may, that may have been a segue into something more. And frankly, your question still remains, why didn't I kiss her instead of the dog? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I did ask that. <laughs> uh, the puppy you... was really cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some dogs are cute. <laughs> and statistically, some girls are cute. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't... You'd have to, ask, I mean, in one sense, you'd have to ask the puppy why he, in, why he jumped in my dream and, and blocked my progress. Yeah, yeah. Notice the way the next uh, fourth paragraph picks up. <clears throat> so I got distracted by the puppy and messing with the girl, and then after our, I got done getting the picture taken of the puppy, then I look over at the eagle, and it's sitting right there, and he's not majestic. He's a bald eagle, but he looked like he was molting. He wasn't really bad, but he was like going into or out of his, of his molt. Um, and he's still brown, so he's still so, kind of mature. Uh, uh, read the first sentence again. So I got distracted by the puppy and messing with the girl. Oh, that's enough. What does that mean, in terms of what we're saying? You got distracted with the puppy. 
and, uh, and presumably the same thing. Uh, how do you read that? Should I, int should I use the same word twice? Or not, let's just do it again. So I got distracted by the puppy and messing with the girl. Uh, what do you mean by messing with the girl? We were playing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, are they both distractions then? According to the si sentence? I got distracted by the puppy and distracted by messing with the girl? Um, this distraction is a holdover from the previous paragraph, actually. Yeah. I'm kind of re recapping that. Yeah. And then launching in. Yeah, so the term distracted appears again, doesn't it? Yeah, because I totally, pull, I totally lose focus of the puppy and the girl and then focus on this eagle, and I'm like, whoa. So now your whole attention so, is on. So I mean, in, in one sense, yeah. in one sense, I could say I got distracted by the eagle. Okay. As well. Okay. So there's an eagle. So you got now involved in the eagle. He's he's right on the bed. Yeah, I'm with you. He's like right yeah. there, and I'm like, whoa. Yeah. You got distracted. <laughs> you got distracted by the puppy and the girl, and now you're focused away on from the eagle because the, yeah. the eagle came down and swooped the drone away, scared the drone away. Yeah. But then I got pulled over with the puppy and the girl. And now I'm back to the eagle, which is really what I'm focused on because he chased off a drone yeah. and he seemed to, and the drone and the spaceship seemed to coincide. So there's a, the, mm -hmm. the whole scene of these big spaceships is still not lost on me. Mm -hmm. I'm going back. So the girl and the puppy were the distraction away from the thing that I was completely amazed with, which yeah. was the flying yeah. objects. Yeah. They were far more interesting than the girl and the puppy in this yeah. segment. Yeah. 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 And by the same logic, would you go into the fifth paragraph? Then I come out of the room where the bedroom was, the bedroom slash patio, um, the, the room that I was just in, then out of the door as if I was going backstage. Um, and it changes, completely changes worlds. Now I'm in a, like, a lo like a lodge up in Big Bear or something like that. It's a rustic wood cabin with two doors. One of them is the Mediterranean door that I came out of, and the other one is the rustic door that says Marty on it. I go and I know, uh, it's, it's I look in it, it's cramped. I see it's uh, books on the, on the shelves and I'm lamenting for a moment that I got basically got kicked out of that other room. Mm -hmm. The room that had all of the, f yeah. the puppy, the girl, the spaceship, the drone, yeah. the eagle. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> gone. The Mediterranean yeah. patio, it's gone. Yeah, that's all. And now gone. I'm in this just right. primitive, rustic gone. little thing. Yeah. What's it like? Just, you know? Well, the lamentation only lasted for a second until I figured out that Oh, okay. So I actually got, I figured out that I had been put on staff. That's why my name was on the door. It's like, why is my name on the door? And I just, uh, I knew it was going to be, I wasn't excited that I got promoted. I was just, it's not bad that I got promoted. I knew it was going to be, it's like, okay, here's a little cramp room with a lot of books and no drones, no spaceships, no eagles, no girls, and no puppies. Yeah. It's books. And you ended up in a, what kind of an office was that again? It was cramped and rustic and yeah, tiny. Yeah. yeah. It's like a little library, a little study. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little room, right? It's, it's little. Yeah. But um, my name on it was better because... I, I got put on staff. Yeah. Uh, could you do that again? The got, little room was okay because I... It was a promotion. Because I got a promotion. It was a promotion. Yeah, yeah. That overcame the little office. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Would you agree there's a certain theme running through this? <clears throat> States of mind? You're captured by what kinds of things? A magnificent or beautiful Fly. things. The flying... Flying, amazing things. Things. Yeah. Things. things are playing a major role. Absolutely. Yeah. And puppies. <laughs> and puppies, too. Yeah. And your own role is... Uh, graduated even though you got a little small office or whatever you want to call it. So your interest, then these human, uh, what do you call these things that are going on that distracted you? Oh, that's interesting. I guess, uh, what are they again? The, the girl? The girl, the puppy. In one sense, any, all the, all of, they all distracted me. The yeah, evil, the right, spaceship, right. they all... They were all just, yeah, they were all distraction is playing a hell of a role. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What do you make of that? Well, I mean, looks like a major theme in there, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And getting caught up with uh, mechanical things, and yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, what is that state of mind like when you, when you call distracted when that occurs? What is that like? Um. Uh, it's like um, it's like losing something. What? It's like it's like losing. It's like losing something. Yeah, yeah. It's what's like, that oh. like? Yeah, good, good. I like that. Um, it's like you you like losing something. What's that like? Uh, that doesn't matter, or it does matter. When you lose something, it's like losing something important, or. To me, losing anything is important. I don't care if it's even the smallest thing. The fact that you lose it is what's important. Oh, the fact the that losing. you lost it. I don't care if it's whatever. just whatever. Yeah. The fact that you let something slip. Yeah. That's it's unacceptable. That's terrible. It's unacceptable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of that? It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's re it's complete. but it's playing a role in your dream. It, it, it plays a life? lot more than that. Yeah, in your life, for sure. Mm. For sure. What, is, what are you going to do with it? Well, what does that mean? See, this is very important, isn't it? It it it, it, it yeah, it does yeah. make some. See, watch on. See, see through all of this, we finally got one state of mind. There it is, losing. So. Oh, because when I go out of the room, the Mediterranean room, that, yeah. lam that lamentation, yeah. that's loss. It's not lamentation, it's loss. Oh. I, lo I, I felt like I had lost that whole oh. world. That's the word. Yeah, that's what good, it was. good. All right. Felt a loss. A loss. Right, what's that like? Oh, it's like, you know, when you, I don't know, for me, the biggest loss was like, uh, or that feeling was when I graduated from sixth grade, I went from private school and I was going into public school. So I was never going to see, or I had, I had put it in my head that I was never going to see any of those people ever again. The sixth, I, the, the, all my yeah, classmates yeah, up until sixth gonna grade. Lose those relationships. And I lost, and I, yeah. Yeah. What was that like? It was horrible. Huh? It was it was profoundly terrible. terrible. Yeah, yeah. What did your parents think about it? Um, I didn't tell them. I don't think I told them about it. You just suffered it. Well, yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah. Well, do you have to suffer uh, uh, losses yourself? Well, and share them. Per I mean, I guess you. 
Well, maybe I did. Maybe I did. What? What? Maybe I shared it. I, I don't, don't know. remember sharing. No, I don't remember sharing it. Yeah. But they don't. Un well, they don't understand things. Yeah. 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 Other people don't understand. They don't. They just. They yeah, don't they don't understand such situations. No. Right. Right. That's your parents. Yeah. Hmm. Goes back to your parents in this early scene, doesn't it? Now, if we were going to explore the significance of that, that would be a private exploration that we call philosophical midwifery. So, if you want to explore it sometime in the future, sure, be pleased to do so. Sure, yeah. I haven't really hit that angle before. Yeah, yeah. It is important, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the dream is able to pinpoint a vital thing in his past that you have never talked about, especially with your parents or other people, because other people, your conclusion would be they don't care, or they don't, or they don't relate to such a thing as a personal loss. Well, yeah, and those, and even just those two ideas yeah. bond together. Yeah. Yeah. They don't understand. That's they're right. very, they're ve those two things are very related yeah. in my mind. Yeah. And that has plagued you for your whole life. Yeah. 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 Several examples. Well, you yeah. can't really get too much out of a dream, can you? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. I was gonna forgot all about it. The question back here. Please. Here, what about uh, like shared dreaming where two people actually remember the same dreams and actually share that dream? Hold it, hold it. Do it again. Shared dreaming where two people actually share the dream and they both remember it. Is there significance to that kind of? Yes. That's very profound. Um, um, I think one of the most important things to do, by the way, is to take a tape recorder and put it under your pillow. And when you wake up, just talk about it. Whatever it comes into your mind in a dream, will, sooner or later we'll, you'll catch one. That kind of data is close to do the dream, see, rather than trying to recall it hours later. So uh, each of those dreams that you record, therefore, have more vivid images and language that, in fact, are more accurate to the dream than any recollection taken many hours later. You can test this. Have a dream, record it, don't listen to it, write it out several hours later, don't read it again, then talk about it with someone, when you finish talking about it, open up the, the written statement and look at the difference and you'll be astonished if you turn the recorder on. And all you need is one good experience. But if, it's really important if you can get someone to talk. See, the point you're raising is essential. Uh, it's very difficult to analyze your own dreams because the blocks you have in your understanding are the very blocks that the dream is trying to report to you. And therefore, it's difficult to see your own dreams apart from your problems when your problem is a way of thinking. So uh, that's you know, one of the ideal ways of having a relationship is that you can have a meaningful dream analysis game going on that can include, therefore, your reflection on both of your lives continuously, and that raises the level of insight in the relationship itself. Sir? Uh, thanks, Peter. But, um, I, if I understood your question correctly, tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, I think what he was trying to get at, though, was uh, it, th there are cases where people uh, each have dream at night, and then they talk about it, and they discover that they were 
they were in the same dream together. And I think what he was getting at with his question is, <clears throat> uh, would you treat that situation any differently than a single person dream? Oh, I missed Mr. Yeah, no, actually, that's exactly That's very what was. good. Thank yeah, you. Actually, no. in the same dream. No, same interpretation. No. No. Well, this is the game. So, sure. Uh, what I was going to say is, uh, for next week, I, I'd be very willing to do whatever my most recent dream is and go all the way through the whole philosophical you know, library process, just so you could see what that is. I'm very happy to go ahead and go all the way through that. Nice. Yes. We can do that next time. Nice. Okay. Now, the next time we meet, if someone will agree to go through a personal exploration. We'll do a midwife as well as a dream and a daydream together. That's what you call and, uh, and I'm happy to do that. You're it. All right. So that's what we'll do. Thank you. Thank you. Let's have a cup of coffee.